Hey guys, Steven of Salaga here, and I'm super excited to be sharing this tutorial with you today. Now, I've gotten lots of requests for Brendan Urie, and I have a live model who I know you're all excited when I have live models, and this is Johnny. Now, now before Johnny starts to take over here, because I know you have a couple things to say, yeah. um, he's a super, super cool guy. He's also got his own YouTube channel, and he's also a bassist for a kind of a popular guy. So, Take it away, Johnny. Tell everyone who you are. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Johnny Nassis, and I'm here today with the Salon Guy. A lot of you guys might know me. I do play live bass for Alex Goot, and I do uh, stage tagging as well for Against the Current. Awesome, man. And you also have a YouTube. What's your YouTube channel? Uh, my YouTube channel, you can check out in the link down below. It's youtube.com slash Johnny Nassis, where, where I do daily vlogs and tour footage. Awesome, man. So I am super psyched and ready to get started in this tutorial. And, you know, now you're, he's got really, really good hair, and I get a lot of requests for people um, you know that he's Filipino and some you know a lot of Asian guys and people with finer type hair want to know you know how can I get certain types of hairstyles so he is perfect for today's tutorial so we're gonna do a little bit of an undercut which is really really popular and also um, from this one particular video uh, was the request for uh, Brendan's hair so uh, I'm ready to get started man you ready I'm ready All let's right, do this let's do it all right guys so we're gonna start in the back and what I'm gonna do is a number three and I'm probably gonna bring it to about right here go a guard higher than that and then I'm going to blend it in uh, by hand. Then we're going to do the same thing on the sides here. Uh, in the sideburn area, we're going to use a three, um, go a little bit higher than that, and then we're going to blend everything in by hand. And now I section this off in the top here because we are going to have somewhat kind of like an undercut. So what we're going to focus on now is cutting this nice and tight into here, and then gradually um, getting a little bit longer right before the top starts to hang over for the undercut. All right, so now I've got the back here. I'm gonna move into the sides here, and I'm gonna continue with the number three, uh, and then a three and a half, and then three and three quarters right in through here. Uh, and then we're just gonna cut it by hand up to about right here, just so it's not too, too short, uh, but it's still kind of disconnected. Everybody in the world get loose. Dance to the sound. No silence. Have fun, no violence. Dance, be happy. Dance, dance if you want to. All right, so you can see I've got the lower half here, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use scissor over comb, I'm gonna blend this all in, and then we're gonna cut it basically right up to about here, and I'm gonna extend this in through the sides here, and we're gonna create like a longer uh, undercut, so it's not buzzed like this down here, but it's still shorter than this. And then we're gonna extend this all the way around to this side, so the top can kind of slick back, or it can hang over it. Um, but the key right now is, is getting rid of this line here, and, and the way you do that is by doing scissor over comb, and you've seen me do this a number of times, where you lock the comb in, and you basically pick up where you left off from where you cut it with the buzzers. So I'm just gonna continue to do this all the way throughout the back and the sides, and we're gonna bring it up all the way to about right here. No more stress, just for one day. What to do? Choice on you. Take it to the moon. But all you gotta do is All right, guys, so as you can see, uh, just turn your head this way, Johnny. Mm -hmm. This is, is a beautiful, nice blend here, <clears throat> and it's it's still disconnected so that this is uh, longer on the top here, but as you can see, doing scissor over comb gives it a really, really nice, soft look. So what I'm gonna do is the same thing on the other side, and then we're gonna leave this longer on top so that it can kind of give a nice little, um, little more volume right in through here. guys, you can see this looks really, really good, and we've got, we do have a, uh, an undercut here, just like Brandon's hair. So, it's undercut, it's not super, super short, um, but it, it's still enough that you can see the difference. So, uh, what we're going to do is I just want to go over the top, um, just like this. I'm going to skim the top, just the ends, and we're leaving it where it's probably about a good, like, uh, let's see, probably at least like four or five inches or so on the top here. Um, we're just going to skim the very, very front, you want to cut off some of those, you know, kind of dead ends here. So we're just cleaning this up. But we want to maintain as much length as we can. So we're basically going to just cut this all even, you know, with exception to the front, again, being a little bit longer. 
Um, and you do that just by basically over-directing and pulling back towards you. And that's how you get the, the front uh, a bit longer. So continue to do this throughout the whole top of the head. And you pretty much should get this done relatively quickly. All right, so everything is brought up straight up like this, over-directed back a little bit so that this is left the longest. And this is still uh, pretty much the same length, you know, if that it all kind of goes back. You might need to trim up the back a little bit if it's um, a little bit too long, and you can do that by bringing this down this way. <clears throat> and once you bring it in the back, then you can just kind of snip it off and you're good to go. So what I want to do now is I want to blow dry this back and get some volume in through here, kind of like how Brennan has his hair uh, in that video, and then we'll be good to go. All right, so I'm just using a little bit of a pomade. Uh, I'm not telling you what pomade I'm using until I get a product sponsor, but any pomade will pretty much do. So now what we're doing is just going to kind of slick this all back like this, <clears throat> and if you want, you can push it down on the sides this way. That just kind of always helps smooth out the sides and helps it look a little bit, um, you know, more polished and more together. So you just want to kind of rake it over, and a lot of times people ask me how do you get volume. The best way to get volume is to kind of lift from the root area like this. Um, you can even go like this and use your palm, and that kind of teases it a little bit. Uh, and you just want to lift up like this. And that's going to give you as much volume as possible with these kinds of styles. And, and for this particular look, um, Brennan's hair is slicked back, it's kind of going over like this, and it has uh, a lot of volume to it. So I think we pretty much uh, accomplished the look here, and I think this looks pretty awesome, man. Let's just turn our head a little bit this way. Johnny, what do you think, man? This looks pretty awesome, right? I think it's pretty great. That's <laughs> what I'm used to. I like it a lot. <laughs> now you're going to get uh, 8 million subscribers just from this video alone. <laughs> and I'll get like two. No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I'll give you a shout out uh, in the cool. description. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, I'm just going to clean up the edges here with the, with the trimmers. Um, but we're pretty much done, man. So you can get this by, you know, a lot of people ask how to get this from when they go into the barber. Basically, a number three. You can even do a three all the way up to here, depending. I did a lot by hand, which, which to me makes it look a lot better. Um, the same thing on the other side and through here, uh, up to the part line. So it's, it is disconnected, but not like, you know, it's not super, super short, but it still is. And the top, it's probably about, I'd say about three and a half, probably four inches in length. Uh, and then just slick it all back, give it some nice volume, and pretty much the look is complete. Well, Johnny, I gotta say, I think you are the new lead singer of Panic at the Disco. What do you think? I'm ready to play a show. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's do it. So, as you can see, guys, uh, you know this did a lot for Johnny. Um, it really, you know, kind of tapered things down into the corners here, kind of leaned them out a little bit. Has a really, really nice shape to it, so it goes great with his head shape. But also, it's got a lot of volume on top. So this is going to grow out really, really good, and it's a great style. So I'm super psyched, and uh, you know, I really appreciate the requests. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and I love all your comments. And also, Johnny, his YouTube channel link is going to be in the description below. <laughs> um, and, you know, show him some love and support, too. But, dude, thank you so much for being a model dude, today, man. Thank you for having me today. This is great. I really love my new hairstyle right now. Awesome, man. So, thanks so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time for more tutorials from the Salon Guy. Bye.